Also, you love doing that. A beer tap. <laughs> Sit by and let pay you Does all the clever stuff. Act three this evening is uh, from Western Australia, 24 years of age, first public and therefore first television appearance also. A special welcome to Act three, Jamie Barker. <laughs> Good evening, James Dribble with the news. Tonight we have some good news for you and some bad news. First, the good news. It didn't rain today. Now the bad news. <laughs> A major fire has swept through the studios of the ABC and changes to some programs have been announced. Countdown is now meltdown. <laughs> Nationwide has become badly fried while cooking with Peter Russell Clark hasn't changed a bit. <laughs> At the Taronga Park Zoo in Sydney, a man went bananas and threw himself into the gorilla cage. The man, Mr Ed Scarf, was later arrested and charged with attempted ape. <laughs> Rolf Harris's attempt early this morning to cross Bass Strait on the back of a kangaroo failed when two crayfish got caught in his beard a crab crawled down his wetsuit and a mullet swam up his didgeridoo. <laughs> Rolf is in the Royal Melbourne Hospital recovering from shell shock and strained muscles. <laughs> Australia's secret intelligence organisation, ASIO, has denied reports that it has become the laughing stock of the intelligence organisations. However, it did confirm its latest appointment as technical advisor for Play School. A Brisbane man who lost the use of his tongue over a period of several months last week had a successful tongue transplant. When asked to comment, the man said he didn't really want the tongue transplant, but at the time, he couldn't say no. <laughs> the, government today announced, the government today announced more defence cuts. It sacked the army. <laughs> and now a quick world roundup. Japan's craze of mass Harry Carey is said to be dying out. And there was a moment of embarrassment at the latest Royal Variety performance when the Queen went backstage to meet the artists. It was only discovered then that Boy George was wearing the same dress. <laughs> President Reagan has denied rumours of an imminent nuclear war. Speaking from the cockpit of the latest space shuttle moments before liftoff, Mr Reagan said he felt no concern whatsoever. Tragedy struck on the set of the latest James Bond movie, Dr. May B, when Roger Moore, as 007, had an accident with a chainsaw. As a result, he will now be known as 003 and a half, and will only be seen in small parts throughout the picture. <laughs> now back to Australia, and Western Australians are denying big-headedness over the winning of the America's Cup by their yacht. The Premier said that the whole thing was just a storm and a tea, America's Cup, Western Australians are still part of Australia too, and the whole thing should be kept on an even-winged keel. <laughs> well, that's the news, now the weather, and we'll go straight to the satellite photo. Thank you. Jamie Barker from Western Australia. Act three on the show, and I think I should reiterate but not only was that Jamie's first television appearance, it was his first public appearance. Jamie, one question I ask of you. Was that your own material? Yes, it was. You wrote that? Yep. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Here's uh, his rub. Yes, indeed. Uh, I echo those words. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> it was really... Really... <laughs> <laughs> it was really very, very good. One time, boy, Must be I didn't think it was that funny. Really <laughs> <laughs> last, last week, Bobby looked <laughs> slightly strained. What? <laughs> Rod's I think I'm going to have a cough. Yes, oh, yeah. I'll, I'll go ahead. I'll do yours. There you go. If Jack Klugman is watching, he's not always like this, Mr. Klugman. He's sometimes uh, relatively they normal. Put water in your glasses. Yes, then. yes, they woke up to me. Jamie, one tiny thing. Never apologise for your material. Uh, don't throw the piece of paper away and pretend that you didn't want to say that. It was all very funny. It was all terrific. In fact, it was great. Forty. Forty from Rod. Bobby. Jamie. I agree with Bert and I agree with Rod. 
It was original material, it was very good and it was topical and it kept up. The only criticism I've got is it was lack of experience in presentation. And that showed, once again, through the old, the, uh, the very intimate medium of television showed through that the pre presentation is to when you've done it a few more times and you've appeared in public a few more times, you're going to be great. If you can always be a writer, a comedy writer, you're number one. I gave you 38. 38, that's 78 for you, Jamie. Jamie Barker from Western Australia, and you hit the front now by one point. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. 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 Hey, it's uh, quite appropriate at this spot I should introduce a very special guest in the audience, having enjoyed Jamie, and Jamie having made us laugh so much. I guarantee if you're able to... Uh, to capsulise laughs given on Australian television over the past, what, 27 years or whatever, the person who would not only be a contender but would be an outright winner for giving us the most ever would be one of Australia's greatest comedians ever. Bobby's wife, Dawn Lake, happens to be in the audience this evening.